Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So one of the problems and issues after installing Windows 11 24H2 is that this year's annual feature update is crashing with certain Western digital SSDs. And I did post on that, and I'll leave the video linked down below and in the end screen because there's also a workaround in that video for what it's worth. Now, just a quick recap for this video. According to a support article, which is this article, the problem is caused by an issue with the HMB, which is the host memory buffer for certain models of Western Digital and SanDisk SSDs where the drive may cause a blue screen of death on Windows 11 24H2, as I mentioned in that previous video. Now, here are the affected products, which I have touched on uh, previously. And you can just pause the video at this relevant timestamp. And I'll also leave this full article down below because it gives you all the steps you need to take if you want to address this issue. Because if you have a drive affected by the problem, according to this article, Western Digital recommends updating its firmware before attempting to install Windows 11 version 24H2. So I'll leave the article down below. But basically... Um, the resolution is that you update your firmware according to this article. Now, just take note though that this is only for Windows where you need to download the Western Digital Dashboard for Windows. Mac OS is not supported. Just take note of that. And here are the um, download locations for the dashboard. Here we've got the online installer and here you've got the offline installer. So just take note the sizes of those different installers. And then obviously you download the digital dashboard and here is how you can do that. As mentioned, article will be down below for easy access and reference. And then once the dashboard is installed, um, this is what it should look like more or less. And just take note though that besides updating firmware, the dashboard lets you monitor your drive's health, temperature, speeds and other information. And as mentioned, it's only available for Windows. And then what you would do is... Obviously, just take note, they say critical, create and verify a backup and backup all critical data to another location before updating the firmware because if something goes wrong, you could lose all your data. So just make a backup to be rather to be safe than sorry. Now, here we go. The Western Digital Dashboard will show when there is a firmware update available. And there we go. Here's the whole process, which you can follow. And once again, article will be linked down below for access and reference and he has all these steps that you can follow to update your firmware and there we go and once that's complete once everything is done and um, there's a good chance then you'll be able to update to windows 11 version 24h2 without any issues and without any blue screens of death because according to western digital that will address the issues that were faced after upgrading to 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.